I like your office. Oh, yes, the ambiance is very authentic. Reminds me of those, uh, you know, those old detective stories that I used to watch when I was a kid. I'm sure that at any moment, Sam Spade is going to come marching through that door, but then who needs Sam Spade when I've got Tex Murphy standing in front of me? Did you always want to be a private eye? As far back as I can remember. Mm -hmm. Would you have a seat, Mr. Thank you. Spade? Yeah, while all the other kids were logged on to Sesame Street Interactive, I was reading Hammett and Chandler. It must be quite an exciting life. Oh, it's got its moments. Don't get me wrong, it's not like the movies. It sure as hell doesn't pay very well. But it suits me. So what can I do for you, Mr. Fitzpatrick? Well, I'm trying to find an old acquaintance of mine, Thomas Malloy, Dr. Thomas Malloy. The last official address for him that I have is the Ritz Hotel. Now, do you happen to know him? Can't say that I do. That's very important that I find him. You know, let me give you a little background. For many years, I was a research scientist and I worked alongside Dr. Malloy. But about 20 years ago, maybe, I guess something like that, our paths diverged and I lost touch with him, and he with me. And then very recently, I saw a photograph of him in a local newspaper. Now, it's a strange thing how time is such a natural equalizer, makes us appreciate the faces from one's past. At any rate, the older gentleman in that photograph is Dr. Malloy. And I contacted the newspaper to find out where the photograph had been taken. It was at the San Francisco Technical University. Well, I hiked right out there, got to the campus, and decided to look the man up and surprise him. Even with that photograph, no one recognized him. No one knew his name. But then I received a strange phone call from a young woman named Sandra. The man I knew as Thomas Malloy, she knew as Tyson Matthews. She seemed quite uncomfortable talking on the vid phone, so I suggested we meet. She never showed up for that appointment. And you never heard from her again? You know, it's strange. But this simple, whimsical wish of mine to get together with my old friend has materialized into, I don't know, I feel a sense of impending doom. I fear for the young woman, and I fear for my friend, Dr. Malloy. It sounds interesting. I think I can look into this for you. Thank you. Now, you'll have to refresh my memory. How much, how much is your fee? How does it work? I charge $500 a day. Of course. Plus expenses. Naturally. There, that should be enough to get you started. And here, here somewhere, there you go. I could be reached at that number. I'll be in touch. I feel we're off to a good start. Not Mr. Fitzpatrick. Cash I've had months. Four grand. I owe Louie two hundred bucks, and Rook says I owe him three hundred. But there should be plenty left over. Yes, sir. Things are definitely looking up.
Fitzpatrick didn't give me much to go on. Just the newspaper photo of Malloy and the fact that Malloy stayed here at the Ritz. Then there's that girl Fitzpatrick referred to, Sandra. Maybe I can track her down. First I need to find out which apartment Malloy was staying in and then get into it. That means I gotta deal with Nilo, my landlord. It's the second week of April and I'm a little late on my February rent payment. <laughs> 